A monster tsunami is threatening Europe. In Norway, scientists now believe that it is no longer a question of if, but only a question of when. A violent tsunami will occur and wipe out entire swathes of land. We'll take a close look at this with spectacular original footage of the area where the tsunami originated, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. Who has a tsunami in Europe on their bingo card for 2024? Not me, but then again, with all the crazy things we've already experienced this year, it doesn't surprise me anymore. Whether it's a tsunami, volcanic eruption, earthquake, or supernova, I'll keep you up to date on all the exciting events, so why not leave a subscription right now and activate the bell? It's free, you'll never miss a new video again, and you'll be helping me immensely. Thanks a lot, friends! But now to the far north, or more precisely, to the picturesque region of Sunmur in western Norway. Here, between steep cliffs and deep fjords, lurks a danger that would terrify even the most hardened Vikings. And no, I'm not talking about a horde of angry trolls or an aggressive pack of elk. The danger comes from a mountain called Okerneset. Sounds harmless at first, right? But this mountain has a lot of tricks up its sleeve. Or rather, it has a big crack. A crack that is getting bigger and bigger and could cause a huge part of the mountain to fall into the sea. And if that happens, then literally all the dams will break. But let's take it one step at a time. Ekerneset is located directly on the Sunnyvilles Fjord, a sidearm of the famous Geiranger Fjord. By the way, sorry for my Norwegian pronunciation. I know it's probably terrible, but I'm doing my best. For decades, geologists have been observing a crack here that is slowly but surely moving through the mountain. And when I say slowly, I really mean slowly. The crack is growing by just 1 to 4 centimeters per year. That doesn't sound like much, but by way of comparison, your fingernails grow about as fast. But as the saying goes, constant dripping wears away the stone, or in this case, constant cracking blows up the mountain. The crack is now an incredible 30 meters deep and several hundred meters long, and has separated a gigantic mass of rock. We are talking about around 54 million cubic meters of rock which is the equivalent of 20,000 Olympic swimming pools. Imagine 20,000 swimming pools filled with rocks waiting to plunge into the sea. And that's the problem. If this huge mass of rock falls into the water, it will trigger a tsunami and not a small one. We're talking about a monster wave that could reach up to 80 meters high. The tallest wooden building in the world, the Mjøstornet, is in Norway and is only 85 meters high. Now you might be thinking, Well, a tsunami loses its force quickly, right? Right? Unfortunately not. In the narrow fjords, the wave cannot spread like it does on the open sea. Instead, it is reflected by the steep rock walls and amplified like in a gigantic bathtub. Only that in this bathtub, there are no rubber ducks swimming, but whole villages. The places most at risk are Hellasilt and Geiranger. Tourists and pseudo-Instagram models may know Geiranger. It is one of the most visited places in Norway, known for its breathtaking scenery. Ironically, it is precisely this scenery that could be the village's undoing. According to the experts' calculations, the tsunami wave would reach Geiranger in less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes to evacuate an entire village? That would be a bit tight. But don't panic, the Norwegian authorities are aware of the danger and have installed a sophisticated early warning system. The mountain is monitored around the clock, GPS sensors, laser scanners, seismometers. Okanisset is probably the most closely monitored mountain in the world. If the rock mass moves even one millimeter faster than normal, the sensors sound the alarm and then it's every man for himself. The inhabitants of the endangered areas are warned by sirens, text messages, and even TikTok. Yes, you heard right. They then have at least 72 hours to get to safety. That sounds like a lot, but imagine having to pack up your entire life and move away within three days. Not so easy, is it? And speaking of not so easy, do you know what else is not easy? Predicting exactly when this landslide will happen. The geologists say it could happen this year, or in 10 years time, or tomorrow, or never. That's right. It could also be that the mountain will simply remain as it is. Geologists are not clairvoyants. They can only calculate probabilities, and the probability that Okerness it will give way at some point is unfortunately quite, quite high, but not 100% by nature. The crazy thing is that the people in the region have been living with this danger for generations. For them, the risk of a tsunami is as normal as the risk of having an accident on the road is for us. They even have a special term for it, a leve med fiel, translated living with the mountain. In a report by National Geographic, one of the oldest residents was interviewed. His name is Magne Okernes, he's 90 years old, and surprise is named after the mountain. He says that he used to play on the mountain as a child. We threw stones into the crack and listened to how far they fell. He 
he says, If one of those stones had been the final trigger for the tsunami, it would have been expensive for his parents' insurance company. But Magne and his neighbors are not reckless. They are just pragmatic. Another resident says, We can't live in constant fear, otherwise we'll stop living. Wow, that's what I call Nordic serenity. Nevertheless, the Norwegian authorities are doing everything they can to minimize the danger. They are even exploring ways to delay the landslide. One idea is to drain the mountain because water acts as a lubricant between the rock layers. Less water means more friction and thus more stability. It's a bit like trying to drain water from a sliding snowball, except with a mountain and much, much more complicated and more expensive. Another idea is well, actually, there is no other idea. The geologists agree. You can't stop the landslide completely. You can only delay it and prepare for it as best you can. Now, you might be thinking, Wow, so we're going to witness a historically unique monster tsunami. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. It's not unique. Norway and the North Sea coast have already experienced a mega tsunami once before, about 8,200 years ago. At that time, when our ancestors were just about to invent agriculture, a huge landslide occurred off the coast of Norway. This landslide is now known as the Storega landslide, and it was huge. Imagine an area the size of Iceland suddenly sliding into the sea. That's how massive the Storega landslide was. This landslide triggered a tsunami that hit large parts of the North Sea coastal areas. In Scotland, traces of this tsunami were found up to 80 kilometers inland. Imagine you're ironing your kilt in the highlands and suddenly your bagpipes are swept away by a tsunami wave. On the Shetland Islands, the waves probably reached a height of over 20 meters. By way of comparison, that is higher than a six-story building, and it gets even more extreme. New research suggests that this tsunami may have had a significant impact on the population of Great Britain at the time. Scientists from the University of York and the University of Leeds have created computer simulations to find out how far the tsunami waves could have penetrated the country. Their results are somehow frightening. In some areas, such as Howick in Northumberland, the tsunami could have wiped out a large part of the population. Our Stone Age ancestors must have been amazed when they saw this. The researchers even suspect that the people at that time were completely unprepared for the tsunami. They had never experienced anything like it before. Some may even have run to the beach when the sea retreated before the tsunami to collect stranded fish and mussels. A devastating mistake because then the approaching wave came, and the Storega tsunami was possibly not the only one of its kind. Recent research has found evidence of other tsunamis that hit the Shetland Islands around 5,000 and 1,500 years ago. This means that such events may occur more frequently than we previously thought. And if there have been several such tsunamis in the past, then it could happen again in the future. Dave Tappan from the British Geological Survey puts it this way. It means that the danger, the risk, is much more serious than we thought. That is why the research at Okunaset is so important. We can learn from the past to better prepare for the future. Patrick Sherex, the lead author of the study on the Storega tsunami, says, Identifying and evaluating similar events from the past can help us predict where, when, and how large future events in a particular area may be. Speaking of preparing, do you know who else prepared for the Okernesset tsunami, the movie industry? In 2015, the Norwegian disaster movie The Wave came out and told exactly this scenario. A mountain collapses into a fjord, triggering a tsunami, chaos breaks out, and the movie was so realistic that the residents of Guranga were shown it before the release to avoid panic. I mean, imagine going to the movies and seeing your hometown swallowed by a giant wave. Now, now that's what I call special product placement. But seriously, the situation at Akanaset is a perfect example of how nature constantly presents us with new challenges. We humans tend to think that we have everything under control, but then a mountain comes along and reminds us that even in our modern age, we can hardly control these brutal forces of nature. On the other hand, the way we deal with danger also shows what we are capable of as a species. We can't stop a mountain, but we can measure its movement to the nearest millimeter. We can develop early warning systems, create evacuation plans, and even try to slow down the course of nature. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? And who knows, maybe the research at Akhenaset will lead to insights that will one day help us to prevent similar disasters in other parts of the world. Unfortunately, Norway is not the only place where such dangers lurk. From Alaska to Scandinavia and Patagonia, there are unstable mountain slopes all over the world that could give way sooner or later. As soon as anything happens in Gaiwanger, I'll let you know right away. So subscribe to the channel now and activate the bell. Speaking of giant monster waves, there are probably tons of ocean planets in space just waiting to be discovered by us. One of the most fascinating depictions of such a water world can be found in the movie Interstellar, which you probably know. 
On the planet we see there, gravitational forces create gigantic monster tsunamis like in Norway. And on this planet, one hour is equal to seven years on Earth. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to take a closer look at whether such planets could really exist and whether we could travel in time like that. If you love the movie Interstellar as much as I do, you can look forward to the video. Otherwise, I'd say see you next time. Take care, friends.